Welcome back. This is Motionology one more time. And now we're going to talk about the next operator in the Expresso tag within Cinema 4D. And that is the noise operator. And this noise operator is generating a random number based on a noise field. If you are familiar with the uh, wiggle expression in After Effects, you're not going to find any difficulty whatsoever understanding this noise operator. So let's see how we can work with this noise operator. Let's create an object, let's say a box, and then uh, drag it to the Expresso editor. And then let's extract the position X. And then let's connect that position X to the noise operator. And now let's get back to the beginning of the timeline. Let's hit Shift F and then let's hit F8 to play that. And now nothing, nothing is happening right now. But if we go back to the noise, we have these parameters which we can change. Let's change the amplitude for now. Now we can see some random animation based on that random uh, number that has been generated using this noise operator. Uh, to see that number, let's add a result node. And now let's connect that noise to that result node. And now let's go to calculate animation refresh. Now this is the random numbers is being generated by the noise operator every frame. So this is basically what the noise operator actually does. We have some, some other parameters here in the noise operator. Uh, first, uh, first one is the noise ty type, uh, which gives you uh, a different noise field that you can work with. This positive only is gonna, uh, you know, just move the object increase that amplitude. Now you can see that this box uh, is moving along the X axis, but is going through the uh, positive direction and the negative direction. If you check that, it's going to only work and move in the uh, positive direction because the generated number is going to be positive it's not going to generate any negative numbers. And if you want to do the same thing, if you are familiar with the wiggle expression in After Effects, you're going to use a function to do that. And that function is the absolute function. So let's stop this animation. So let's talk about the scale property here. And that scale property is going to increase or decrease the scale of the noise structure. It's not going to affect the result or the generated number, but it's going to make it more snappy, more, you know, more sharp. The seed value is going to give you uh, different values or different generated numbers. And this will help you if you have more than one noise operator in your Expresso editor and all of them have the same uh, settings, but you want them to give you different results. So you're going to change this seed parameter. This octaves multiplier is going to be activated if you only change the noise type to something other than this first choice. So if you change it to turbulence, for, uh, for instance, it's going to be uh, activated. This octaves is going to give you two more noise field is going to be laying on top of each other, giving you more details in your noise field. So let's uncheck this positive uh, only and let's play the timeline and um, maybe we can add something else to that position. Let's say uh, coordinates rotation pitch and let's connect that noise to it. So it's uh, affecting the position X and the rotation pitch. And uh, that's very cool if you ask me. So this is it about the noise operator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.